hey, uh, we're going to do some improv for you. Can I get a suggestion of uh, something that you've been enjoying a lot lately? Knitting. Knitting. Thank you, knitting. Please. Oh. oh, I'm supposed to be the one to knit because I'm the woman. I get it. No, I was going to join you. I was just offering you a C. Oh. Okay. That was nice. Oh, wow. Okay, you guys get the seats, and I'll well, just stand we are, up. We are the senior knitters. You're a rookie. Fine. You've got to prove yourself. Yeah. I'll stand. I get it. Hazing. Cool. <laughs> just because I don't know how to backstitch yet. Everyone knows how to backstitch. Yeah. I was born backstitching. My family has a proprietary stitch passed down through the generations. My don't steal it. My wife told me it would be good for me to get out of the house a little more, but I don't know that this is what she meant. I'm sorry, we're not providing a, mo a welcoming environment no, for you? No, of course not. Listen to that tone of voice. I Sounds like someone's nitpicking. Oh, that was a good one. Okay, mm. this is I like I you. the line. Mm. I could Thank get you. over being talked down to and belittled, but... Poor pun work is really the last straw. I, I don't need this. That was excellent pun work, first of all. Yes, it was. Second, while we're talking up to you. Because, yeah. Good one. See what I did Physically. There? <laughs> That's right. See, I, yeah, I'm going to keep going. All I do is sit here and knit and think of puns. And you're excellent at it. Thank you. You're welcome. You I, know, hmm. I like the way you knit. Thank you. Mm. Maybe I should demonstrate a little bit. I would cover myself in your afghan. I I'm sorry if that was too forward. No, it was. I, should I get out of here? <laughs> this is. <sighs> you need to watch, newbie. No, you know, you watch know and learn. The I'm rec center by my house teaches pottery classes every Wednesday night, <laughs> and they are very nice people. Oh, pottery. <laughs> <laughs> they have to be nice, yeah. okay? Yeah, they are. It's like, I, oh, went to I, their, I saw Patrick Swayze and Demi Moore, and now I want to play with mud. Yeah. That's what pottery is. Yeah, I would rather play with mud than big, sharp sticks. You guys suck. These are needles. Watch yourself. You I'm, watch yourself. I'm going to go get squishy in the pottery mud, and I want you two to think about the way you behave towards people that just wanted to be friends. That's all I wanted. Duh. You probably aren't the best people to run this meetup group. Maybe not. No. Sing! Uh, what's something that rules? Falcons. Thank you, Falcons. That's a beautiful, majestic bird you're seeing people here, right here. Beautiful bird. Incredible bird. Beautiful, incredible bird. Yeah, we don't always bring them out here at the Detroit Zoo, only on certain days. So yes. You should be, be lucky to see such a beautiful bird. <laughs> yes. Spread your wings, Larry. Whoa. Ooh, look at that. Look at those wings. <laughs> Gaze upon this natural beauty and wonder. God's creations. Yes. What now, you, you may have noticed thing. Larry's missing all of his feathers. Uh, He's a bald bird. Some of you kids, I see some of the kids are crying. Some of know. the kids are crying. Yes. That's okay. Don't cry, kids. This is natural. He's uh, just very, very sick. Yes. And it's because, you know, Larry doesn't like being in captivity. Beautiful bird. bird. Yeah, bird. he's sick, a beautiful sick, bird meant to sick, fly. beautiful but bird. We put him in a cage, and he just started pulling out all his feathers. It's a common thing. Uh, we had a parrot growing up that did that. That's what got me into uh, into poultry. Yes. These majestic creatures simply, mm. yeah. simply loathe captivity. Yes. But They'd for your enjoyment, here is a beautiful, sick, lonely, sad yes. bird. Be sure to pick up your Larry merchandise at the gift shop. Those Larry images have him with all of his feathers. Mm -hmm. So you can really see his beautiful majesty. Normally we would have him fly out and take a piece of meat from one of you, but obviously he's just a piece of meat himself. He's you know. too weak right now. Too weak. Oh, Larry, sometimes I feel that I failed you. <laughs> sometimes I think maybe I should let you free in the dead of night, that you can fly back to Namibia, your native land. Oh, Larry. I'm. I'm sorry. No, I, it's I okay. We that. all I, 
have trouble sleeping at night knowing we do. that we, we have, have a lot of guilt. We really have these beautiful, lot. majestic creatures. I thought it was just me. I, I, you know, I do sleep, but I always cry myself to sleep. Mm-hmm. I sleep in, uh, well, I guess you could call it a coffin <laughs> because I feel so bad about what we've done to these beautiful, beautiful birds. I cage myself at night. Wow. You know, I've never told anyone this, but when I cry, I use one of Larry's feathers to wipe away the tears. That's just mm. sick. Yes. No, it, it, I just feel like I'm part of him, like, like we're one. I've taken to eating an all-bird diet. I don't know how that the makes diet, you feel better. The diet of a bird. Not, I'm not eating birds. I'm eating what a bird oh, eats. Okay, okay, yeah, okay. you need to phrase that better. Yes. <laughs> I eat plenty of chicken, though. <laughs> oh, that, yeah. That's, no, don't say that in front and of Larry. And once I, on a trip to Namibia, I ate a falcon. <laughs> what? Oh yes. I'm sorry, Larry. You, you, nearly, you nearly dropped Larry there. His talons are so strong. Beautiful, sick, lonely the, bird. The we hope eat. you learned something today, children. Yes. See, that's our time, folks. <laughs> We're the Planet Ant Improviser. Yeah. We're back from the stage from that wonderful improv set. I'm sitting here with Lauren Vickers. Hi, Lauren. Hi. Tell me about improv. How did you get started? What Ooh. attracted you to it? And who are your, your teammates? They are great. Well, I got started in improv, in improv um, about 21 years ago now, when there was a second city, Detroit. It's a wonderful community experience, ensemble experience. And uh, my teammates, the home team, we are an expansive group. So what you just saw, there were three of us. We are actually, we total over 50 people. Wow. But yeah, <laughs> we're all over the country. So there's a lot of us that still live here, but are maybe not always active. So. And then there's people that live in LA doing stuff. There's people in Chicago, people in New York. So we're all over the place. Um, well, we're... who were your teammates uh, today? Uh, today, it was Andy Reid and Tony Agusti. What makes it work? Listening to each other, agreeing with each other, being open and willing to build with each other. There's a lot more layers to that, but like really, once you're in it, it's just like being open to the experience. You know, it's like, you never know what's gonna happen. You just have to just be willing to build with someone else on that stage. It seems to me that um, improvisation could be healthy for everybody, no matter who, because this kind of oh, loosens sure. you up, right? Yeah, definitely. No, I mean, people, you know, people take improv that are interested in performing, but a lot of people take improv just to be more comfortable around other people. Come to Planet Ant, Monday night's Planet Ant home team. We're every Monday. Unless there's a holiday, we're, we're playing. And we always have guest teams and then a farm team and our home team. So yeah, it's a fun night. All right, well, I'll have to make it over there. Yeah. Thank you, Lauren, for being with us. It's a pleasure. <laughs>